Welcome back. Happening for the first time since the pandemic began, the Padre Island National Seashore hosting a sea turtle hatchling release. And this afternoon, our Peter Vance takes a look at what to expect at this weekend's event. Families like the Chans are coming from across the state to witness the wonder of nature. Yeah, we are from Dallas. We are coming here to see the hatchling like they're going to the sea. Uh, my kids are very excited about that. We have been waiting for this for a while. It's been nearly two years since the last public hatchling event. Different than years past, the park will be requiring visitors to pay the $10 park entrance fee. Park Ranger Kelly Taylor says the majority of this money will go back into the park. Probably one of the most obvious projects that uh, the money will be used for here at Padre Island National Seashore is the rehabilitation of the shower changing facility. Taylor says they are expecting a large turnout and recommends getting to the park early. The release begins at roughly 6.45 a.m. this Friday and Saturday. Visitors are asked to park in front of the Malakite Visitor Center. Information session will be held on the deck before the release, and then attendees will head to the beach for the big moment. So it's, it's a super cool opportunity because it's not every day that you get to see tiny hatchlings racing to the ocean. So I think just people who are passionate about turtles, who are passionate about conservation, this is really the, the apex of like, wow, look what we did. The hatchlings typically take 20 to 45 minutes to crawl down to the water, giving everyone a chance to catch a glimpse. The kids just keep asking it every five minutes. <laughs> so yeah, we have been like, keep talking about it for like the, actually last several weeks. Rangers recommend spectators take advantage of the special occasion, pack a lunch, and enjoy the rest of their day at the park. Reporting on Padre Island National Seashore, Peter Vance, Action 10 News. Now, if you plan on going, you're urged to call the Hatchling Hotline. That's before they arrive in case the event is delayed, even canceled. You can find that number on our website. Just go over to KZTV10.com.